Good evening everyone, time for another member update. Now this is the daily chart of Deutsche Bank AG. And that is the biggest bank, I believe it's the biggest bank in Europe, it's the biggest bank in Germany. And this is a very important day. I've drawn some trend lines in and some arrows here to show you what's going on. Now you can see here, the first thing you want to note is that at a volume of 20 million shares, I'm going to assume that shares, uh, this is the largest trading day in history for this stock. Uh, barring something off this chart, I don't, I don't think it's there. But it's also a 20 year low in the stock. And you can see that it broke down on very large volume, but it also kind of rallied on large volume. We saw that before when we were looking at the Bank of America chart. I did a video on that when I saw Bank of America break below 10 and it appeared to be heading into bankruptcy and it went exactly the opposite direction. It was a massive bailout and a massive rally. People actually made a lot of money off that. It was a double or triple from there. So this could be the same sort of thing, but then again, it might not be. Uh, so I wanted to examine this. Uh, now we had the debate tonight and I didn't have time to analyze the video and the pictures and things like that. So I'll do that tomorrow night and uh, analyze the debate. But I think this is a really big story now, I've said for the longest time that I personally believe that the European banks have pretty much been the whipping boys for the Federal Reserve. Now, we know from John Titus and we know from others that there was a tremendous amount of money during the financial crisis and bailouts that was shifted over to European banks and euro dollar deposits and things like that. We have no idea how much tax money was actually sent overseas to bail out foreign banks. But I'm also going to try to make the point that the U.S. Federal Reserve is in the driver's seat. And this is just one more story in a continuing pattern of the U.S. government and the Federal Reserve blackmailing and controlling foreign governments. And for me, that's really important because if you remember for the longest time, we believed, uh, well, Christians who were into Bible prophecy believed certainly that uh, ones that followed how Lindsay thought that the, the European Union and the European Central Banks would be the emergent uh, fourth empire, the beginning of the new world order. And it's my contention that the European banks and the European governments are actually still just puppets of the U.S. power and that Europe really isn't going to be free of control until the U.S. Federal Reserve goes down. And it will go down. I have no doubt about it. I think that the Chinese are going to be the, the ones who implement the final gasp and of power of the Federal Reserve. I don't think it's going to be the Europeans. I think that was just a, a smoke screen. But so keep this chart in mind here. I think that Deutsche Bank is down to about $14 billion in net assets. Uh, their total, out, according to the statistics, their total outstanding cash is roughly a trillion dollars and their outstanding debts is roughly a trillion dollars. But we know that uh, with the leverage that's in the system and with any kind of adjustment, one way or the other, it's very easy for them to slip into bankruptcy. When you're talking about one trillion dollars versus 14 billion dollars, uh, that's not even 1%. Uh, or that's that's 1.4 percent of the total uh, amount of money there. So you can see that a 1% shift, one to 2% shift is gonna put them into insolvency. So what's behind this? Well, the first story I wanna look at is the story about Deutsche Bank not doing business with the Justice Department. Now, 
we have a long history of the U.S. Justice Department going after foreign banks and fining them and the banks paying those fines. Now, this story is from the 15th of September, and this is where Deutsche Bank said no, they're not going to settle. So let's read some of this, and then we're going to go to the Wikipedia, and I'm going to show you all of the attacks against Deutsche Bank have come from the United States. So this is from ABC News. Deutsche Bank AG said Friday it does not intend to pay $14 $14 billion to settle civil claims with the U.S. Department of Justice for its handling of residential mortgage-backed securities and related transactions. The bank confirmed in a statement that the Justice Department had proposed a settlement of $14 billion and asked a German bank to make a counter-proposal. Now, that's really interesting that the settlement of $14 billion is basically the entire net value of Deutsche Bank. Quote, Deutsche Bank has no intent to settle these potential civil claims anywhere near the number number cited. The negotiations are only just beginning. The bank expects that they will lead to an outcome similar to those of pure banks, which have settled at materially lower amounts, the Frankfurt Germany-based lender said. Deutsche Bank is among many financial institutions investigated over dealings in shoddy mortgages in the run-up to the 2008 financial crisis. The government has accused the banks of misleading investors about the quality of their loans. Earlier this year, the Justice Department announced roughly a $5 billion settlement with Goldman Sachs over the sale of mortgage-backed securities. Other banks that settled in the last two years include Bank of America, Citigroup, J.P. Morgan, Chase, and Company. The banks collectively came under scrutiny for the sale of securities that, while promoted as relatively safe, contained residential mortgages from borrowers who were unlikely to be able to repay their loans. The poor quality of the loans led to huge losses for investors and a slew of foreclosures, kicking off the recession that began in late 2007 as the housing market collapsed and investors suffered billions in losses. The sums paid by some of the nation's largest banks are intended to offer financial relief to some homeowners. They have not included criminal sanctions or penalties. So that's very interesting. The first thing you want to take away from that is that Goldman settled for $5 billion. They don't tell you what Bank of America, Citigroup, or J.P. Morgan settled for. But still, these are the banks that were given hundreds of billions of dollars by the Federal Reserve. So in essence, we have the Federal Reserve giving these banks money and then these banks giving money to the Justice Department, which goes to the government. That's sort of a shady deal. So let's look at the Wikipedia entry on Deutsche Bank. And I'm just going to read the summary first. Uh, you can see how far back the history goes into the 1800s. Deutsche Bank AG, literally German bank is a German global banking and financial services company with its headquarters in the Deutsche Bank Twin Towers in Frankfurt. It has more than 100,000 employees in over 70 countries and has a large presence in Europe, the Americas, Asia Pacific, and the emerging markets. In 2009, Deutsche Bank was the largest foreign exchange dealer in the world with a market share of 21%. The company was a component of the stock's Europe 50 index until being delisted on August 8, 2016. So it, it appears that Deutsche Bank is going down. Now let's look at the scandals that Deutsche Bank has been involved with recently. And then let's, let's look at how the U.S. is involved in prosecuting those. And this is the housing credit bubble and CDO market. Deutsche Bank was one of the major drivers of the CDO market during the housing credit bubble from 2004 to 2008. In 2011, the U.S. Senate Permanent Select Committee on Investigations Report on Wall Street and the Financial Crisis analyzed Deutsche Bank as a case study of investment banking involvement in the mortgage bubble, CDO market, credit crunch, and recession. It concluded that even as the market was collapsing in 2007 and its top global CDO trader was deriding the CDO market, was betting against some of the mortgage bonds in its CDOs, Deutsche Bank continued to churn out bad CDO products. The report focused on one CDO gemstone, etc. 
Greg Lippman, head of the global CDO trading, was betting against the CDO market with approval of management even as Deutsche Bank was continuing to churn out product. He was a large character in Michael Lewis's book, The Big Short, which detailed his efforts to find shorts to buy credit default swaps for the construction of synthetic CDOs. He was one of the first traders to foresee the bubble in the CDO market, as well as the tremendous potential that CDS offered in this. And it goes into the big short. Deutsch was also involved in Magnetar Capital in creating its first Orion CDO. Deutsch had its own group of bad CDOs called Start. It worked with Elliott Advisors on one of them, Elliott Bet against the CDO, etc. On on the 3rd of January 2014, it was reported that Deutsche Bank would settle a lawsuit brought by U.S. shareholders who had accused the bank of bundling and selling bad real estate loans before the 2008 downturn. The settlement came subsequent in addition to Deutsche Bank's $1.93 billion settlement with the U.S. Housing Finance Agency. So one thing that you notice about these fines, they always seem to go to the Justice Department or finance agencies or arms of the U.S. government. You never really hear about the people who were defrauded. And of course, most of those people walked away from their loans. So there wasn't really a defrauding, but it it just seems to be an extortion from uh, an extortion by the U.S. government uh, of these foreign banks. We saw that with uh, PNB Paribas. We've seen that in a lot of cases where the U.S. government has fined foreign banks and pocketed the money. It's almost like the U.S. government is so desperate for money that it's extorting money from foreign banks. Uh, U.S. Housing Finance Agency over similar litigation related to the sale of mortgage-backed securities to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. So let's go to some of the more recent crises here. Deutsche Bank has a negligible exposure to Greece, Spain, and Italy. However, account for a tenth of its European private corporate banking business, according to the bank's own statistics. Uh, I'm not finding the story I was looking for. Oh, here it is here. Okay, so here's the espionage scandal. Now, here's the LIBOR scandal. On April 23rd of 2015, Deutsche Bank agreed to a combined $2.5 billion in fines by American regulators. <laughs> now, how is it that American regulators are getting money from LIBOR fines? Uh, this is really, really strange. And a $227 million penalty by British authorities for its involvement in the LIBOR scandal uncovered in June 2012. The company also pleaded guilty to wire fraud, acknowledging that at least 29 employees had engaged in illegal activities. And it goes on. On the 5th of November 2015, Deutsche Bank was ordered to pay $258 million in penalties imposed by the New York State Department of Financial Services and the United States Federal Reserve Bank after the bank was caught doing business with Burma, Libya, Sudan, Iran, and Syria, which were under U.S. sanctions at the time. According to U.S. federal authorities, Deutsche Bank handling 27 thousand two hundred US dollar clearing transactions valued at more than ten billion dollars to help evade US sanctions between early nineteen ninety nine and two thousand and six, which were done on behalf of Iranian, Libyan, Syrian, Burmese, and Sudanese financial institutions and other entities subject to US sanctions, including uh, speci the specially designated nationals by the Office of Foreign Assets Control. In response to the penalties, the bank will pay $200 million to the NYDFS, which is the New York State Department of Financial Services. So do you see a pattern emerging here? Uh, again, it is the Federal Reserve, the Justice Department, and the United States government that is collecting billions of dollars in fines and we've no evidence that these fines are going to the people who were actually defrauded. But again, it's the U.S. government collecting all of this money, 
probably going into the general fund or going into people's pockets. We don't know. But with Deutsche Bank refusing to knuckle under to the latest one, we see the largest volume trade in the history of the stock and the lowest price in the history of the stock. So it's kind of a uh, standoff here. We're gonna have to wait and see what happens. I'm gonna guess that we'll probably have a rally here. Um, now Deutsche Bank does not have a direct line to the Federal Reserve. You have to remember that the Federal Reserve is controlled by Wall Street banks. When the US government fines Wall Street banks for any kind of bad business, we know that the fines amount to, as and John Titus has documented this, the fines amount to a small percentage of the actual profits that the banks made. So the people who run those banks make off with tremendous bonuses and everything else. We know that Goldman, uh, after they were bailed out by the US government w with their uh, derivatives position and uh, the counterparty risk with um, uh, one of the major hedge funds, uh, I can't think of it, I'm sorry, insurance companies, uh, but uh, they were bailed out and they were given 100% and their bonuses were paid at 100%. But again, that only goes for the Wall Street banks who are, in my opinion, the ones who are in control of the Federal Reserve. So to me, it's very, very clear. It's not a conspiracy of European powers who are controlling things here, or you wouldn't see this sort of thing happening. Uh, the United States government now is forced to extort billions of dollars from foreign banks uh, who really have no obligation to follow U.S. laws. Um, we're just seeing the exertion of power from the hegemony that is the Federal Reserve. I think this is going to end. I don't think it's going to end by an exertion of power from the Europeans. I think they'll knuckle under. We'll probably see a tremendous rally. Uh, we're going to see it this week. It's going to happen uh, probably starting tomorrow, either Deutsche Bank is going to continue into bankruptcy and be Deutsche bankrupt, or there's going to be a big rally as the Federal Reserve comes in with a backdoor and bails them out. And we'll talk to you next time.